Hello to fans, this is Evan Alaska's aka the Scar Clown. Um I am here to talk about you could tell from the title and from the picture. So I'm just in my grandparents' house and everything like that. Spending time with them obviously, so um why not spend time with the family, you know, tomorrow's Memorial Day, so there you go. But um uh, moving on, I wanna talk about this. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, sorry guys. The reason I took a while for that because I spilled my beer, my Rolling Rock. But hey, look at that. I'm drinking Rolling Rock while I'm talking about nostalgia credit. Hey, look at that. But moving on, I want to talk about hashtag change the channel. This stuff of hashtag change the channel, I'm glad that people are talking about it. To be honest, I haven't talked about this in this channel in quite a while, mainly because I thought things would change. Literally, I, 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 I was a fool. Let, let's just say that right now. I was a fucking fool thinking that this channel, not my channel, but the Channel Awesome channel, would change because they fucked up. They did. They've hurt people, and they've kept a pedophile in their channel, and they knew what he did, and they didn't do jack shit about it. That's nice. That's nice to know that a company out there, and I'm sure there's more than one, that can take people and treat them like crap and then be like, what do you mean? It's your fault we treat you like crap. Not ours. Pay us. You know, it's stuff like that makes me disrespect companies and makes me sick that they're even a company to begin with. Like, it makes me question how they became a company, you know? And it's like, did they become a company because they sold their soul? Technically, probably they did. And, uh, look, I don't want to get into more conspiracy about that. That, that. That's something else. I'm just making fun of the fact that maybe they did. Um, But what's not funny is what happened to to the people that Channel Awesome ruined. They ruined people's lives. Channel Awesome has ruined people's lives. And what's Channel Awesome doing? What are they saying? Sorry for the sun there. But what's Channel Awesome saying? Nothing. They don't care. They absolutely don't care. And if they do say something, if someone does tell them about it, they'll be like, it's just the haters, man. It's just them. And like Brad, Brad I literally thought Brad was going to be a man up person and be like, hey, these guys need to say what the fuck happened because this just shit's fucked up. But no, he's the problem too. <laughs> what the fuck? And yeah, I unsubscribed to him. I did. Oh, that's for my next video. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Little preview though. But yeah, I unsubscribed to Brad, the cinema snob. I, I unsubscribed to him. After he made that interview of saying that, yeah, we're just gonna, people are just going to forget about it and all that, it's the internet. I'm just like, what year do you live in, dude? This is not when YouTube first fucking damn started. This is 2019. This is not 2007. This is not 2007. This is not 2008. This is definitely not 2010 or 9, or even 2005 for that matter. This is 2019. Well, if you do something wrong... Just a little bit. Just a little bit. For crying out loud, even if you fuck up just a little bit, people will call you out on it. All right? So don't fucking tell me that, all oh, people need to forget about it and get over it. And the people that are like, yeah, good, Channel Awesome's going for those haters. What haters? What, the people are telling Channel Awesome to grow the fuck up and tell them, man the fuck up and and fucking say that sorry instead of being like sorry you feel that way the people that condone this the people that are like oh yeah fuck the um change the channel movement and all that i want to say this what if your family member what if your mom what if your sister what if you went through what the 40 people at channel also went through and the person that got fucked over in from that fucking sexual predator you know what what if what if that happened to one of your family members and one of your family members 
is so devastated by it and you tell them, oh, I'm sorry you feel that way. Get over it, bitch. Oh, get over it, asshole. You know what your family member will do to you? Personally, me, I won't even fucking talk to you anymore. I will literally spit at your face right there in front of you because you did literally disrespect me. You basically said that, oh, you got raped? Good for you. Oh, you got fucked over at your job? Good for you. Oh, you were cheated like shit at your job? Good for you. So you feel that way. I hope you deserved it. You probably deserved it. What kind of mind shit is that? You know what that mindset is? That mindset is the same shit that my fucking father t- tells me to. Oh, you went, oh, that happened to you? Well, you were looking for it. <laughs> oh, so billions of those people, not, not billions, but 40 of those people, and the person that got fucked over with the sexual allegations, and, I mean, not sexual allegations, but the predator, sexual predator, you mean to tell me that those people were looking for that? They were looking for someone to rape them, and they, so, and they were looking for, oh, I don't know, someone to fuck them over in their job. And not get catering stuff. And that's a little, that, that's a minor thing. The catering shit is literally a baby shit compared to the other shit that, that they did. And I don't want to talk about the catering stuff because, to be honest, that's another rant on its own. That is like, really, what the fuck is wrong with you? My God, schools do this. Movie studios do this. And you're like, we didn't know. Are you that clueless? That fucking clues. I realized that this ch- that channel awesome and Rob and Dog. I don't know. I don't know about. I heard Rob is an is an asshole and a racist. I don't know about that. Um, I I don't know. Uh, I don't. I I mean, I met Doug and Rob, but I don't know them personally. Like I met them at a con. You guys know that, you know. And I was. The thing is, I'm. That's what pisses me off here too. I'm a big fan of these guys, and the fact that they did this is like. Okay, so you guess don't, I guess you don't give a fuck. I guess you don't give a fuck about the fan base. I guess you don't give a fuck about how hard you made your channel. And I guess you don't care about the people that you hurt. That's nice. Thank you, Channel Awesome. Thank you for telling everybody how you are. And thank you for telling everybody literally what's your goal in life. Literally, that's your goal in life. Get people to join Channel Awesome and then fuck them over like Mike Machard does. And at first, at first, people with all oh, maybe it's Mike Machar, maybe it's not the Walkers and all that. Hey, I was clueless on that too. I'll be honest with you. You know, I'd be like, you know what? Let, let's see what they have to say, Channel Awesome. And then you know what they said? Sorry, we feel that way. And then I was like, oh, okay, I got you now. Unsubscribe. You know, unsubscribe. And I did, I, and I didn't really, and I kept my subscription for them because I love Mount and Tamra. I love um Walter. I love those guys. I really do. But the fact that I don't know, I don't know if Walter talked about it because uh, all right, I haven't seen his channel and I haven't seen his videos in a while, and I'm not, I don't follow him on Twitter. Uh, I used to follow Malcolm and Tamara on Twitter, not anymore. Um, mainly because I was just like, guys, you know what they did? Yes, you want there, but you have 40 plus people talking about it and complaining about it and saying that this shit happened. And you have one person that went through that, one person that went through really fucked up shit and saying that too, and they don't want to say anything because if they say something, they could get fucked over. Because even though they're saying the truth, there could be pe- people out there being like, oh, you should, you should keep that quiet because it will ruin their reputation. Go fuck yourself. This is why I love that all of this shit is coming to light. It's coming to light in Hollywood and it's coming to light in YouTube. And oh my God, thank God. When it rains, it pours. Oh, heck yeah. All right? Do I need to mention the whole Jew, um, Jewario thing? Or the fucking, um, the new one that just came out? Fucking Pro Jared. God. All I have to say is Pro Jared, his ex-wife, and not the hoe that he's with, but the other chick. I'm not going to say hoe because I'm not, I don't even know, you know, I, I'm, not gonna, I'm just not going to say that. But all I need to say is, those three people deserve each other. <laughs> That's all I need to say about that. They fucking deserve each other. And the same thing with Channel Awesome. All these people fucking deserve each other. And once they go to the pits of stink shit, then they're going to be like, we didn't do anything wrong. No, you did something wrong. You hurt people. And you, and instead of saying, oh, I'm sorry, like we're really sorry and 
we will help people that felt that way and everything like that. You were like, oh, I'm sorry you felt like shit. I'm sorry that you thought that we treated you unfairly, which you did. You can't have 40 plus people saying that you treated like shit and then have three or four people saying that, no, we didn't treat them like shit. It's like, it, it, it's like literally call a spade a spade, you know? So that's just me. Um, tell me what you guys think. Comment, subscribe, hashtag change the channel. Keep pushing it. Keep pushing it. Keep pushing it. Even if you think it's not, nothing's going to happen, it will. It will happen. Sooner or later, something's going to happen. It can't last forever. And most people are like, it's lasted a year. And look what's happened now. They stood shut. It lasted a year. And now everyone's fucking talking about it. So imagine what's going to happen to another second year. Or a third year. Or a fifth. Or a sixth. I'm not saying that would happen. But I guarantee you if they kept going and kept being quiet, I guarantee you that somebody will go to YouTube. One of the higher ups on YouTube will be like, hey. How come no one is, how can we criticize PewDiePie in other, in other channels, but not this channel, you know? And that's fucked up too, because if everyone else like PewDiePie got fucked over in a way, and I'm not saying PewDiePie was like, <coughs> I'm not saying he fucked up really bad, but it, for kind of loud, he said like a slur thing, and then people were like racist and all that shit, you know? And it goes back to what I said, if he didn't get away with that, what makes you think channel also is going to get away with this? Because what? YouTube is the same shit? Like the higher ups on YouTube? Some of them are. I won't be so fucking surprised. And you know what? Maybe that's why channel awesome hasn't been through. Maybe he hasn't gone through what we want them to go through. Because be probably people in chat and not channel awesome, but people on high up on YouTube probably look at what channel awesome did and they're like, we see no problem with it. I can see that, and it's sad because people have been hurt. People have, people have been scarred. Okay. If I was anyone on YouTube, I that went through this, I would actually lawyer the fuck up, and I will grab a whole bunch of people that went through this, and sue Channel Awesome, and not maybe not YouTube. But maybe slightly with YouTube because they didn't do anything about it at all, whatsoever. For kind of loud, you have a company in your website that kept a fucking child molester. And what are you going to do about that, YouTube? Nothing, right? Because other YouTube channels have pointed out that you're dis sick and disgusting too. So, that's all I need to say. Comment down below. Like, subscribe, share this video to everybody. You don't even have to fucking subscribe. Just share this video. Just share it. And this is, yes, it's just my thoughts on it, but I had to get this out there. Hashtag change the channel. Yes, and he's, we still need to talk about it. The fact that we're, the, and most people are like, oh, we didn't ignore it. Then why are you not talking about it? The fact that you're not talking about it is that you're ignoring it. Oh, but there's nothing new. No, is that what is that why you shut up because there's nothing new coming? You are sad, sad. That's like literally saying, "Oh, this person that I know got fucked over, but I'm not going to do anything about it because I want to know some more information." I'm done. Don't if you like that, get the get out of my face, and don't even comment at all. Sick people.